What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Shinokage. Real quick. -la 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 -la! Just kidding, it's not the end of the book. That is actually in the book that it's written. I thought I'd mess with everybody when y'all get all so deeply invested in it and, like, just do what every other company does and just rip the person you like away from you. But no, that was just a joke. I did not actually do that. That was a tra la 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 la. I had to make sure you knew the way. Alright, let me leave these memes alone, I'm sorry. Um. Laffy face, laffy face. Page, alright, page five. Chapter 226. I had to mess with y'all. I'm sorry. Laughy face, laughy face. Y'all about to be hella mad at me. Let me stop. I'm not gonna kill off the coolest ninja since the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He's... He's the first real-life dual-wielding speedster vampire ninja in the history of superheroes. Started bringing him to life in about 2005 as the Black Ninja. But before you get your panties in a bunch, let's take you back to the next great hopeful and an hopefully anime comic book superhero hit. Will our hero defeat the, the unspeakable evil that has just been unleashed? Forget Lucifer. Does he have a chance against his old grandmaster, Ninja Sensei? Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, back to the story. Sorry about pulling y'all's chain. No, I'm not. That was funny. Um, the fire crackled and danced around Shinokage's body. The flame now engulfed the entire room. An inhuman scream echoed across the room. It sounded animalistic. And something else with, with a hint of human. Shino Kage came to and set up with a kunai laced cobra venom blade in his hand. He positioned the blade for an instant kill. Oh, my head. I forgot how strong he was. You can't fight me, you peon. You're weak. I will feast on your soul. A half-human, half-something else bellowed down the hall. It chilled Kambi to the bone. He was... He was lightheaded. Why was he sweating so much? Fire? Fire! Oh, that's right. He felt his back of his head. He was bleeding a little bit. Need I... Oh, um... Need a little help? Kambe looked up. Azra was there with a hand stuck out. Bro, we gotta stop meeting like this. <laughs> For sure. At least under better circumstances. Kambe grabbed Azriel's hand. A tall, stout, blondish, brown-haired, Russian-looking man. As soon as they touched hands, he started encanting the, the fusion spell. Kara, Khan, Bay, Sun, Kara, K, Don. White lightning struck into the room. The golden knight appeared once more. 
and stretched his massive shoulders. Sorry I'm late. Lucifer trapped the others in the fade. I had to free them. They were under a time stop spell. A what? Never mind. Let's go teach the teacher. Kame cracked his neck. <sighs> Page 227. Yes. Let's. I can't tell you how tired I am of tasting floor dust. Asriel laughed. Where's your swords? I don't know. The golden knight slowly walked through the fire. The flames licked at his side, not burning or bothering him. Azrael raised his hand in the air. Combato! Bon El Elk Bayax! Lightning came through the window and hit the golden knight's hand. A large double-headed axe appeared. Cool! Wait till you see what it can do. Azriel said as he smiled coyly. The golden knight swung it and placed it on his back. It magnetically attached. Gah! The knight turned down the hall, down another hallway to the left. Then there he was. Raiden Lee now had partial black claws, knobs where the horns were starting to grow. The Golden Knight started to go into a charge. Raiden Lee looked directly at them. His eyes flickered red with black pits. Well, that's different. His eyes went back to Raiden Lee's brown eyes. Ah! He clenched his chest. Oh, shit. He clenched his chest, then started to clap. To clasp. To clasp? The hell? He clenched his chest and then started to. Okay. Make! The great axe appeared in the knight's hands. Satan raised his head. He flicked his snake tongue over his lips. Mmm, nothing like a well-seasoned soul. Goodbye, Raiden Lee. I'll take good care of your body. I'll also enjoy making you my playmate in hell. A red stingray tail flicked back and forth. It still looked like Emperor. It looked like the Emperor, but the eyes and the dark, dead, negative energy, evil energy that surged off him was almost intoxicating. I have no intention on seeing what this new weapon y'all created can do. If it can off the Grim, then it must be strong. The Dark Lord flicked his fingers and time slowed down. The Golden Knight reared back and heaved the great axe forward with much strength. It began to boomerang. Satan took a claw and drug it across the air in front of him. He began to rip a portal between hell and earth. Come, my hellions! We have earth to destroy! and a heaven to conquer, a fiery, dark place. Demonic cheers echoed out, human moaning in great agony. Lava bubbled near a bone gate. Satan disappeared. An ogre stepped out of the portal with a gigantic spiked club. Excuse me. I just that much. I'm sorry. Excuse me. The time spell stopped, and the great axe implanted itself deep into the 
Into the what? Into the horned creature's stomach. It looked down angrily. It started to pull the axe out. Me. The axe exploded and re-atomized in the, in the knight's hand. The ogre, confused, fell back and died, knocking back some demons. The flying demons flew past the dead org. Ogre, sorry. Org. That's funny. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, Azriel, he's outside and he has possession of the book. You deal with Lucy. We'll deal with the portal. All right, Michael. Thank you, brother. Meanwhile, outside. Do do do. I stop rocking this. This is not a rocking chair. Um, a flying demon landed on G's custom belt BMW. Shout out to G. That was one like one of my favorite Kmart managers. My man, if you're watching this, I did write you in a book. Um, it shook its head psychotically. I can smell you, the demon said. What are you? You're going to scratch my car. Get off. G formed an invisible shotgun. He thrusted the gun forward. It pumped a shell into a, the chamber. <laughs> the demon fell off and died as its face was blown off. Biggie's Lambo silently produced a low growl. Like a lion that growled with water in its mouth. As if, as it lifted its massive head from the lake. The Lamborghini Diablo looked, locked wheels and turned sideways, perfectly drifting, perfectly in control as if the roads did not exist, as if curbs were not a thing. The Lambo drove as if it were flying in the sky, not even a bird in sight. Those five to ten seconds of drift time felt like time stopped, like nothing in the world could go wrong. Then they were about to pass by Dell and by Zell. And suddenly, a man seemingly appeared in the middle of the street. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Bow before me, before your Lord, your God. Long live the age of the beast. I have personally come down from heaven to descend down upon you. To bring wealth and happiness, I can heal your sick and mend your wounded. If you bow before me, hear me, my creation. Bow before me, and I shall bless you abundantly. His voice bellowed, but it sounded ever so slightly menacing. Biggie's engine slowed down and came to a stop. Gecko's Cove slowed down and came to a stop. The large police force in PSU came to a complete stop, as if the being had some mystical power over machinery. Michael backhanded a demon back into the portal. He shish kebab three others. Hold up. Did that fool just say he was God? Oh, hell nah. Bag of dawn, Page 229. Suddenly, thunder clouds rolled in. Rumble. <laughs> Rain started to pour down. Lightning flickered across the sky. The yuck bin boom, crack boom. A thunderclap. Then a foot thick lightning bolt jumped from the sky and hit Satan. It ripped through the sky and crackled and popped. It struck down Satan with such force it brought him to his knees. One hundred million volts. Yeah. And it left the earth scorched around him. He looked up and shouted at the sky. It's like that, is it, Pops? Come on, Pops. You can do better than that. 
he placed a hand on his knee and stood up with a, a stagger. He hollered again. Machine gun bullets ripped through the air. Satan's shoulders rocked back and forth as he was ridiculed through and through with lead. A Hummer with a 60 caliber Browning heavy machine gun, the tip of the thick steel barrel spitting out wide gray black smoke. Grayish black smoke. A man with a black dragon. Oh, excuse me. A man with a black dragon shirt and that iconic tattoo on his forearm. He quickly pulled the empty box off and dropped below, grabbed another box. The gunner quickly loaded the new box and began firing again. Another Hummer pulled out, pulled up next to the previous Hummer. Creature, step out of his body! Satan snapped his jaw back into place. Who are you to command me? Besides, Emperor Raiden Lee is dead. I ate his soul. Speak when asked it to speak, creature. Who are you? Satan looked down at his new body. The entire body was filled with bullets. I just said I just got this body. You first. Who are you? We are Igorayu Providence, Black Dragon Ninja Clan. Why did you why did I just tell you that? Oh, that group. I thought Death Shadow took all you annoying flightless birds out. It was quite a slaughterhouse in there. From what I saw, you lost a lot of good men. Probably some brothers. Blood was everywhere. It was a glorious sight. Reminded me. If you do not comply, we'll rain down hell upon you. Oh, hold up. Hold the phone, mortal. Did you just threaten me with the place I created? <laughs> now that's irony. Page 230. You may be immortal, but that body of yours you're wearing is not. The gunner brought his wrist up to his mouth. Smoke him. Roger. Sorry, it's been fun, ladies, but I wasted enough time with you losers. Satan struck his hands together. They sparked and ignited flames. And ignited into flames. Suddenly he leaned forward and disappeared in the thin air. This is going to be fun! Satan grinned. Suddenly Satan reappeared inside the Hummer. The Hummer started to shake it to and fro as Satan sliced through each member of the Black Dragon with his hands. Blood splattered on the window. Oh, don't think I forgot about you. I love humans when with egos. They taste the best. He yanked the gunner down. Messy, 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 messy. The messier, the better. He sung. He teleported over to the other Hummer. Moments later, screams emitted. Then the Hummer went silent and still. Mid-teleportation, Michael caught Satan by the throat and slammed him into the pavement. Uriel appeared and picked up the two Hummers and bashed Satan further into the pavement. Gabriel appeared. Brother, you look parched. Have a drink of holy water. He pinched Satan's nose and forced him to drink the water. Azrael, now! The golden knight launched into the air. Me! Twelve flying demons exploded 
where the axe land landed. The axe appeared in his hands. He raised the axe over his head and he came down with such force. The pavement gave and the golden knight fell through to the subway below. Ow! Satan rolled over to his side and spat concrete dust out. I think I taste my spleen. Uh, he placed his hand a couple inches from his ribs. I don't even understand the science behind why I taste my spleen. Weak human body. A red aura emitted from his palm. He began to use his angelic power to heal himself. I will not fall so easily. Kevon Basil. Suddenly, the Golden Knight's arc, or excuse me, axe came spiraling out of the dark tunnel, glowing with a light white hue. What's that? Oh crap! Poof. Satan teleported just as the two hundred pound axe embedded itself in one of the marble pillars, pieces of rubble crumbled to the ground. Good thing the subway was empty with no trains near, just a few yards outside Gecko's Co's stronghold. Satan reappeared. He panted and bent over. Good Lord! That thing is strong! What in the business of hell operations is that thing? What did you create this time, father? He stood up abruptly. No, I just felt the portal close. Damn feathered nuisances. I still have a hundred thousand demons. He raised his hands and closed his demonic red eyes. He began to concentrate his dark, angelic power and presence. Come, my minions! Hear my voice! Come to me, my children, my brethren! Join my side! By my side! And let us feast upon human flesh! Let us destroy these feeble creatures and cleanse this planet, which is rightfully ours! A tank missile landed behind Satan. A tidal wave of wave a, a tidal wave of dirt showered over Satan and shrapnel entered his body. Can I not get a basking moment? God, I am God. I rule this planet and everything in it. I am king. What must you piss ants bother me with now? He turned around. Do not move, intruder. You are trespassing on Russian soil. You will be detained and brought in for questioning. Any sudden movements and you will be gunned down where you stand. Are we clear? Detained? Satan smiled and started to laugh psychotically. Father has tried to detain me, and even he struggles. What can you hope to accomplish, Pissant? He turned towards the tank. I am the great and powerful goat god. I am the best, ever was, ever will be. Freeze. He walked toward the tank. Time slowed down a little bit. A missile fired out of the long steely tube. Why are my powers not working? <laughs> um, Satan watched it sail through the air. 
he nonchalantly smacked it to the side. Um, blowing up one of the other tanks that was slowly boxing him in. I am pain. I am death. I am hell. I am suffering. I am Satan, the great goat god. And you will bow down and worship me. Blah, da, 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 da. 50 caliber anti-infantry shells rain down on the lush grass. You will love me. He raised his hands and began speaking abyssal, the tongue of the demonic. His innocent brown eyes flick flickered back and his red eyes came forth. Page one, 232. Across New York City, the demons stopped the chaos they were causing. Perked their smashed in horn ugly little heads up. Their pointed their pointy grayish black ears flickered. One just killed a homeless man and had a mouthful of flesh in its mouth. It grumbled and finished its mouthful, then flew off. All the flying demons flew to the director direction of Lucifer's voice. Yes, my children, come, come to your king. Suddenly, Gecko's Cove began to work again. Engines revved and growled. PSU and police forces start stared at the into the sky, horrified, too horrified to move. Trained for thousands of situations, car bombs, terrorists, they knew every brainwave of the criminal mind. Most senior PSU did at least one tour in their respective branches in, their, in Iraq, Iran, or Afghanistan. They were as hard as human, humanly possible besides doing Spartan training and going into the wild that might have made them harder but in the current day and age they were the hardest badasses this age had to offer and yet the entire PSU excuse me the entire PSU branch was frozen in their tracks fear stricken the sky started to turn blood red. Black, blackened clouds formed. Come before me, armies of man. Bring your technology. Bring your so-called weapons of war. Come, my brethren. Flock to me like the disgusting birds you are. Come at me, father. I'll take you all on. I am Satan, the great deceiver. The king of lies. I am a god of the underworld. Prince of darkness, rightful owner of earth. A sea of demons formed on both sides of Satan. Protect the master. Suddenly the golden knight appeared through a time warp Uriel made. Satan sighed and waved his hand. The golden knight was frozen in midair. You bore me, new angel. Are you only a one-trick pony? He began to slowly skip to the night. Did you really think the same move would work on me twice? Silly new angel. You're strong. Like, <laughs> really strong. I'll give you that. Definitely couldn't take two of your beatings in a row. Satan stopped and stared at the golden knight. Though I don't know your name, there's something vaguely familiar about you. He leaned in closer and sniffed the air surrounding the night. Satan stretched his hand out, slowly dancing his fingers across the shiny gold breastplate. Page 233.
He closed He closed his hand around the knight's throat. I will take that bothersome uh, X thing from you. With the other hand, he plucked the axe out of the knight's back harness and launched it over his shoulder. Whoosh, 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 whooshing. It landed deep within the ground. Sniff, 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 sniffer, sniff, sniffy, sniff, sniff. Satan's forked tongue flicked out and felt the air around the golden knight. Michael? Is that you? Nah, you wouldn't need to fuse with anything. He cocked his head sideways. Ugh, I smell a human soul. Ew, disgusting. Who would want to touch one of those filthy creatures? They reek of fear and nastiness. Satan stood up straight. The power of an angel and the stubbornness of whatever they have. He slumped. Oh, I love human willpower. It's so tedious and makes breaking their mind so much harder. Ugh. Humans altogether annoy me. He straightened up and cheerfully said, Human and an angel. That's definitely a different... That's definitely different. Nevertheless, I will separate you two so y'all are not an an annoyance to me anymore. You won't win. I'll defeat you. Satan busted out laughing. Kid, my only decent, decent match is Raphael and Michael. You're just a one-trick pony. Massive strength, but you are like these peon... Father, you, you are like these peons father values so much. Let me show you my true power. This heavenly bond you have with this human, I will sever it. Then I will find out which brethren you are and beat the living sh uh, crap out of you. Then I shall shatter your human friend's bones. I will force you to watch the slow death of, of him. Then, when both of you are a pile of rubble on the floor, you will watch me drink his soul. I will then feast upon his flesh, and I will pick the, his remains out of my teeth with your feathers. And you want to know the best part, brother? He pulled the golden knight closer. Kambe moved his head left because Satan's breath stunk so bad. Satan licked the helmet, then winced in pain as holy energy shot through his body. There will be nothing you or the other brothers can do to stop me. He smiled. Now, in a few seconds, the time warp will stop. And both of you will be crumpled balls of paper on the floor. He ripped the armor off piece by piece. Each, each time growling in pain because it burned him. But he ignored the pain. Satan rammed a hand into the Golden Knight's chest. <laughs> tickle, tickle! Pain surged through both of them. You're fighting back. It's is useless. I'm already in Flavio. Spiritual unbeatish realm middle entrecia. The real world began to melt away, and a spiritual realm rushed in to fill its place. Ah, welcome to my home away from home. Looks like Earth, only I have a particular set of abilities in this realm. Like this is like this is really cool. Watch this. I call it the Ecto Phase. Watch, 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 watch. Ready? Oh, it's so exciting. Watch this. He opened his mouth to reveal a small black hole. He inhaled. 
Oh no! Everybody grab onto something! One ghost hollered at the rest of the ghosts and spirits. Daddy! I'm slipping! Take my hand! The man with a long green hat looked somewhat of an old age pilgrim. I gotcha! He pulled the little boy in and pressed him close to his chest. Come here, boy! I want to eat you! Satan proclaimed anxiously. The wind vortex began became stronger, and the gravity pull intensified. Close your eyes, my boy. The dad tried to regrip and pull the child closer. Go away, Satan. We want no quarrel with you. Satan ignored their plea for mercy. The dad lost his grip and fell into the vacuum. He hugged the child tightly. He closed his eyes. Hold me tightly, child. Munch, munch, crunch, munch, munch, burp. Ectoplasm splattered across the floor. Ew, you nasty. The golden knight muttered. Up, oh, up, oh, hold on. Sorry, this is embarrassing. Oh, oh, hold on. He stuck a claw in his mouth and flossed some of the remains that were stuck in his teeth. Okay, you ready? It's super cold. Get angry about something. Mm, okay, got it. And he looked at the knight dead in the eyes and screamed. Whoa! Asriel's, as astral, blah, blah, astral projections of himself hit the golden knight like rapid fire. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Satan grabbed both souls and ripped them away from each other. He held Azrael and Shinokage in each hand by their throats. Satan's eyes were closed. He danced around and sung psychotically. Wasn't that fun? But unfortunately, we're done. La ta la da dee. Okay, okay, all right. My new playmates, on the count of three, we will shout for joy and open our eyes to see each other's true identity. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, all right. Ready? Oh, I feel so excited, like a little schoolgirl who just found out her crush likes her back. Eee! Okay, well, it was fun for me. Uh, oh, oh, y'all are silent. Where's that annoyingly irritating fight spirit? Uh, witty one-liners. Did I break your minds? Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, the big reveal. He slowed his breath to try and calm down from his excitement. I hope y'all are like as excited as I am. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Three, two, one, open! He opened his blood red eyes. Azrael, the angel of war, okay, would explain the ax mastery, aka little brother. And he turned his head to the right in a fast, silly way. <laughs> his disappointment returned, and he stopped smiling. Didn't Raiden Lee kill you? How are you still alive? Seriously. All right, y'all. I want a refund. This unboxing video sucks. They lay in his hand they laid in his hands groggy and weak completely at satan's mercy man remind me to never let y'all set up my surprise birthday party i mean look at y'all look at y'all look worse than my voodoo ragdolls with the old man like i didn't even get a semi-enthusiastic surprise he wiggled them around. <laughs> That's terrible. 
He wiggled them around and laughed as their arms jiggled. Asriel came too. Hey, there you are. What's up, little bro? Long time no see. You have been disowned. We are not related, Lucy. Asriel looked over. Kambe, wake up, child. Satan took Asriel's body and headbutted Kambe in the stomach and threw his still body. Forget him. We are talking. If your little prodigy wasn't dead before, well, he is now. Aww. Look at him. He's so cute sleeping on the ground like that. No! Oh, oh. No, 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 no. You don't. No angel rage for you. Satan passionately hit Azrael. Suddenly the spiritual realm faded and the three of them were back on Earth. An entire seven battalions of Russian and U.S. military forces were on one side. Michael and the other archangels stood by Gecko's Cove, who were standing outside their cars by PSU. PSU was hunting the Gecko's Cove Street Racing League for about half a year now. They were currently shoulder to shoulder with them. Page 236. Right now, PSU squad couldn't care less about slapping handcuffs on these thugs. Is this the beginning of the end? A police officer muttered in fear. Boys, boys, snap out of it. Azrael got separated and Kambe's condition is unknown. Come on, the world needs you. A loud thunderclap sounded and a strike of lightning flickered across the sky. Huh? What? Michael shook his head. He looked around. What's everybody staring at? One pointed straight. Michael looked straight and saw Satan pummeling Azrael. Kami was on the ground, a few feet away from the from the fight. Still. Chest not even compressing in the least. Crap, no, not Kame. Lord, please, don't let it be so. Yuri, Gabriel, come on. Our brother is in trouble. Michael looked over. Brothers? Damn your witchery, Lucifer. Con glo betata. The time spell broke. What? Where? Oh. Brothers, quickly, let us go into the arms of battle. Right, they said in union. They bent down into a long stance. Brilliant whitish blue wings expanded and flapped. A golden hue began to pulsate off what was thought to be six ordinary human men. Then they flapped their wings and lunged forward. There he is! Fire! Tango's present! Bird, you can come in hot. Be careful, though, not to hit any bystanders. Roger that command. My ETA is 15 minutes. Ah, an F-22 Raptor. Fighting jet. Fighter jet. Yes. A formidable human weapon indeed. That would surely end this body trapping my spirit with a corpse. But I will have no intentions of going anywhere. Azrael was unconscious. Blue, goldish, glue-like glue substance leaked out from Azrael's cheek and eye area. Tanks launched RPGs over into a rainbow of death. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. His stingray tail glowed back and flicked side to side. The rockets circled up and the red sky and came back down.
the American tanks blew up. All right, boys. Let's go. Two, t two, yeah. All right, boys. Let's go. Team, team up. Two man squad. This guy is far too close to paradise. Let's show him what happens when you mess with Gecko's Cove. Shake off that fear. Get in your cars. Officer Tringali turned to him. Where are you going? To stop that psycho? Superpowered or not, we can either pull our forces together and get them pricks in the PSU to help move that sea of freaky things live up the justice live up to the justice that your people were originally sworn to prove to me that y'all aren't crooked or sit down sit on your ass and try and stop me Biggie proclaimed boldly she looked down and suddenly realized her gun was drawn she re raised it and pointed it at his chest. Her arms were trembling from watching the events. The unfolding of r the rise of Satan's event, more specifically. You're the leader of Gecko's Cove, aren't you? Yeah? Why does that matter right now? Look, lady. Either help me move these freaks or try and stop me and my crew. Why do you keep saying try? We outnumber you 20 to 1. Plus, we have PSU. Yeah. But I have bigger, stronger trucks that will just plow through your forces, as well as those freaks. Y'all's death ain't in my hands, but I'm going to that fortress. With or without your help, 5 0. Now, either drop me. I'll get that damn thing out of my face. A few moments passed. She sighed deeply. Eyes still locked on him. She lowered the weapon. He nodded, then turned his back to her and began to walk towards her, toward his car. She used her walkie on her, on her shoulder. All units... Let him by. Don't touch Devante or the Gecko's Cove. The Lamborghini Diablo sat behind a sea of NYPD officers, officials. Round up, boys! I didn't realize the gold would take a lot of money. But you know what? He's almost there. <sighs> he spun a finger in the air. Engine started to rev seconds later. Homeboy over here, over there, hurting the military we love. He blowing up my tanks I helped pay for. This is more than personal, fellas. You have held honor of Gecko's Cove for that. I give you sustainable, rock-steady jobs that Uncle Sam can't touch. With tax-free cash flow. I brought you off the streets. Made your life stable enough to stop depending on drug dealing and robbing banks and crappy nine to fives and other shady shit to get by. I helped you all bail. I, I helped bail you out of prison when your own family left you for dead. Today. 
right now, I ask you stand with me. When we go in there, we might die. I don't know much of what's going on. I don't even know if we can kill this threat. But 15 years of an army ranger, seeing some messed up sick stuff on the front line, I've seen true evil at play. Now it just has shown its ugly face. Say no more, Biggie. We're with you. We are with you. Ride or die. Let's ride. Page 238. All right, then. He smiled. All right, family. I want one person from T-Rex's and Scorpion's hospital therapy group in each of your squads. Their, their powers will greatly help us. Thank you all again for agreeing to come with us. I make sh I'll make sure I pay Dr. Miracle a tribute. Sounds like he was sounds like he is a good teacher. Scorpion T-Rex smiled. Yeah. Yeah. He's a hell of a guy. Suddenly a loud thunderous noise erupted from the sky. A black and red F-22 Raptor appeared, but something felt off, enough for Michael and the rest of the angels to stop charging. Uriel, um, Uriel touched his forehead. The man flying the, pa the plane had pitch black eyes. Everybody down, Uriel screamed. Possession! Formation, brothers, defensive positions. Everybody dropped to the ground. Bullets began to rip through the grass, blowing dirt clouds up viciously. Bzzz. In union, the angels turned towards the crowd, quickly produced a sapphire-studded dagger, in the same motion slammed them into the ground, shouting something in a dead language. A bluish-purple clear see-through film raced over the crowd, just as the pilot launched a tomahawk missile over the crowd. The missile exploded over the film. It vibrated violently as it absorbed the flame, explosion, and impact force. Death to all humans! Long live the king! Triple six, the pilot shouted. Uriel, see if you can reach the pilot and rip that damn thing out. With Uriel's free hand, he placed the hand over his eyes. Suddenly, Dodge Rams and Hummers with machine guns on the back blasted through the force field. The men on the back clicked the safety off. All right, this is, I'm done. Page 238. That's where we're going to stop because my lungs are killing me. <sighs> 56 is where the book ends. Thank you for being with me. Thank you, cell phone, for having this much memory. Appreciate y'all. And it's not over yet. Tune in next time.